Good day, one what fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Adelaide Airport, and today I'm beyond excited because uh, the the uh, South Australian border just opened to New South Wales. That means now I can go to Sydney, and today I'm flying Virgin Australia Business Class to Sydney. Let's go in and check in. It's really cold here. Normally, when you walk into the Adelaide Airport terminal, you'll see Virgin Australia on the left-hand side, and then the security area, and then Qantas right there on the right hand side now because not many people are flying they've shut down the whole left hand side and moved all airlines on the left hand side including virgin australia to the right hand side and now we're at the right hand side the temporary virgin australia check-in because i'm flying in business today i have access to the priority check-in which is cool later in the security there was no fast track not many people are flying so there's no point for a fast track security Similarly, after you go through security, the right hand side, where most Virgin Australia flights depart from, have completely shut down for a renovation. Some restaurants, cafes and shops are still open, but for the most part of the terminal, it's still under renovation. It's a really cold and rainy day in Adelaide and later in Sydney it's going to be so warm and sunny. That's our aircraft today, arriving at gate 24 from a hangar or a remote gate. It's an 8 year old Virgin Australia Boeing 737-800 Victor Hotel Yankee India Tango. Virgin Australia has named this aircraft the Lammermoor Beach which is in Queensland, Australia. The boarding gate is full of people, so it's going to be a full flight, I guess. Boarding has just commenced, beginning with the priority boarding. At the boarding gate, you can grab a free mask and hand wipes, all contained in a Ziploc bag. It's my first time stepping onto a Virgin plane since February, so I'm actually really, really excited. And this time I'm in business class. Last time was in 2018. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Welcome on board Virgin Australia 737 Business Class. There are only two rows here in the 2 2 configuration, so eight seats in total. My seat today is 2A. Looks like this. I'll now show you the seat features. So on Virgin Australia 737, there are no TV. You've got a seat pocket and then in the armrest, you can pull out a tray table. It's already folded so you can open it like this and then move it back and forth as you wish. Here you've got a cocktail table. Here's a recline button for your seat. And then you can pull out your another cocktail table. Every passenger will have a universal power socket. Every seat comes with a cute little coat hook. If it's not big enough for you, you can hang your clothes right there. That's the free mask and wipes I got from the boarding gate. You can ask the crew for more if you want. There is a welcome drink, but no champagne or anything fancy. Just a bottle of water.
ongoing coronavirus situation, we've had to make a temporary change to our usual food and drinks offering. We will be in the cabin shortly to offer a complimentary snack and water for everyone. Remember that if you drop your device and it's out of reach, don't move the seat and just ask us for help. We want to reassure everyone on the next that to ensure a safe environment on board, all our aircraft undergo rigorous and thoroughly night cleaning. This includes disinfecting of seats, tray tables, armrests, windows, shades, reading materials, walls and laboratories. Also clean the headrest and the top of the seat in front of you in between flights. This is done with a new antibacterial and antimicrobial cleaning agent that sanitizes and provides long lasting protection. Our jet aircraft are also fitted with windows and pepper filters which capture greater than 90% of airborne microbes. To minimise movement throughout the cabin and to avoid gathering in the aisle, please stay in your seat whenever possible. If you do need the toilet, please stay seated until they are available. A red cross will be illuminated on the overhead toilet sign whenever the toilets are in use. From a distance, you can see the Adelaide Central Business District. It's surrounded by many, many parks. There's Wi-Fi on board today, 737, but apparently the internet's not working, so there's only that Virgin Australia Entertainment app, and you will have to have that downloaded before your flight, which I haven't done, so my only entertainment on today's flight is the safety card. The in-flight leader or manager has just come around business class to take drink orders. And just now I reclined my seat and adjusted my headrest. Here's all the business food and drinks you'll get in today's flight. There's a chocolate bar and there's a lot so if you want more the cabin crew will give you more. For drinks I went for sparkling water and white wine. But later the crew notified me that sparkling water was unloaded so I've only got the white wine. Hello, uh, welcome to Virgin Australia 737 Business Class Lavatory. It's just behind the cockpit. It's not very big here, but it's definitely more spacious than the one down in Economy. That's the basin, you've got hand soap. You've got three types of tissues here. A, B and uh -huh. C, toilet paper. you got the dustbin toilet. Uh, handrails and most importantly you've got this stylish looking silver thin couple after the meal service because there's no Wi-Fi I'm working on my vlog it's about my Wyala trip and only my YouTube members and patrons have access to it we're about to land into Sydney Airport so let's quickly conclude this flight with Virgin Australia right here, right now. So first of all, I want to say that the check-in was really quick and the staff there were really friendly. There was two staff at every counter. One staff was doing the check-in, so checking my passport and printing out my boarding pass. The other one was doing my bag tag, so everything was so quick and efficient. Normally flying Virgin Australia business class, you would have lounge access but because they're in voluntary administration at the moment and they haven't got everything sorted out, all the lounges remain closed, which is a bit unfortunate. Later at the boarding gate, number 24, there were two separate announcements. The first announcement, the ground staff were paging for all people who've been to Victoria in the past 14 days to notify the staff. I don't know what's going to happen to them, but of course there was no one because people from Victoria can't get into South Australia at the moment even though if they're South Australian residents. The second announcement was that they said that our flight would land into Sydney Airport International Terminal Terminal 1 which is a bit weird. I knew that is the case for all Melbourne flights into Sydney but I thought Adelaide to Sydney flights would just be usual landing into domestic Terminal 2. But later again during the flight they said that put your mask on because at Sydney Airport everyone will be screened and you will need to wear your mask but it turned out that we landed at Terminal 2 and there was no screening at all 
we headed straight to the baggage reclaim area and there you go everyone went to Sydney Harbour, uh, Bondi Beach, anything you can name off in Sydney all without restrictions that's why just before landing the cabin crew handed out face masks again just in case people didn't get it at the boarding gate so there was a bit of inconsistencies and false information through the announcements but I'm glad none of that happened also a lot of announcements were about taking care of yourself and wash your hands which was great I really liked the way how the leader of the flight approached each and every passenger in business class to take drink orders and informed us that only snacks will be served as food. The service today was great and very friendly. It's unfortunate that there weren't many drinks and food options, but admittedly the chocolate bar was really good. Before landing into Sydney, I asked the cabin crew for three more chocolate bar and she happily gave it to me. Finally, I want to talk about the seat. It was really comfortable and most importantly very clean. But because of that, perhaps it made it very slippery as I was trying to sleep, I kept sliding down. But that's totally a first world and COVID problem. So that's it for the conclusion today. Finally, for your information, I paid points and some tax money for this flight. As of booking, economy class was about 300 Aussie dollars one way, which is ridiculously expensive. Business class, 699. But now looking at the same route again for next month, it's about $155. And that's in economy class. In business class, it's about the same still, $699. Now, thank you so much for watching this Virgin Australia trip report. I really hope you all enjoyed watching this Virgin Australia trip report. You can follow me on Instagram, sign up to be a patron or YouTube member, add me on Snapchat, and like and follow on Facebook. I upload a new trip report on this channel every Thursday, 12 p.m. Hong Kong time, and that's 2 p.m. in Sydney, 1.30 in LA, so you don't want to miss out. So make sure you go subscribe and click that bell button, so every time when I upload, you'll get notified. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week, and later in the Q&A at the end of the video. Bye-bye. Hello there, welcome back to another Q&A, long time no see here. So I've got six questions because I promised last week that I'll do a bigger one. So first one from Isaac Law 668 what's your favourite aircraft, airline and seat number? Oh, everything's so specific here. I can't really think of one right now, but perhaps, perhaps, I can't think of one internationally, seriously, but domestic. Quantus 737, 800, seat number 30A. 
when I've got my whole role by myself, it's better than business class. Second question from Luckier Lion. What are you studying right now? I study aviation in university here in Adelaide, Australia. Third question from VJ Made Shia. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Please tell exactly what's your nationality. My nationality is Hong Kong Chinese and British citizen. And the same person asking, when will you be visiting India? So I was actually going to visit India very briefly in December 2019. But because Air India changed my itinerary and ultimately they cancelled my trip. So ended up never visited India, unfortunately. But hopefully after this virus, I will, I will have a chance to visit. Uh, fifth question from Gamer. Uh, 958, what airline would you like to see to join One World? What airline? That's not part of any alliance. Oh, Emirates for sure. Um, Starlux in, in, uh, Taiwan. That would be amazing. Uh, Hawaiian Airline as well. Um, the notification's a bit annoying. And the last question from Billy KCH. When was your first time flying? And which airline? My first time flying, I was one year old, 2001, uh, during the summer, I think. And the airline was Virgin, uh, Virgin Atlantic, uh, Hong Kong to London. And then I did EasyJet over to Northern Ireland, back to London, and then Belfast again because of some reason. And then basically I did four EasyJet flights. And then after that, got back to London, Virgin Atlantic, back to Hong Kong. So six flights in total when I was one. So that's it for the q and I hope you enjoyed this Virgin Australia trip report and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned.